session, we will introduce more live demo for the ERM. This topic will cover short-time simplest features for the CVIB camera with ERM. You will get another recording for your visual IP camera setting. And how to connect VNS with ERM for remote viewing. And also with the playback in ERM for the IP camera demo. GV Edge Recording Manager Support Type Sync Function. We will take example about the CAW220 and let you know how to do the Type Sync Function from GV Edge Recording Manager. Let's check the day and time for the CAW220 right now. It is February 03, 12, 28. Okay, and then and check the right side. This is computer time, this GB system time. Right now, the time is 18.31. So it's a little bit time difference for the, for the setting. Okay, now we can use the GV edge recording to sync the IP cam with the computer time. Okay, so after check the weather right now, and you can find the time sync function Check the CAW220, which is the the one we want to sync. Okay, after you sync, they will show the status about the success. Okay, so let's check the day and time again. It's is 1832, so it match the GV edge recording the PC time. So that's the simply the edge recording function about time sync. After we show the time sync function in ERM, now we will show you how to define a NAS folder for the GeoVision IP camera by ERM system. And also we will, we will apply for the remote playback in the ERM. GeoVision Edge Recording Manager supports assigned NAS folder to GeoVision IP camera for storage about the video and we can also check the remote playback result from the NAS. Okay, let's check how to do these procedures. In this session, we will show you how to set up a NAS folder to GVIP camera by Edge Recording Manager. Before we start to uh, let you know more detail about the setting, we might have to check the NAS information first. Okay, since NAS folder actually is a shared folder from the network, so you can define any network shared folder to your GeoVision IP camera as a recording storage. But GeoVision do have a NAS, GV NAS, storage option for you if it, you choose these kinds of storage device there are many many information has been predefined already so it would make your setting more easier for your geovision ip camera let's take the gv nas as the example of in this case okay when you're logging geovision nas system you, you have to create the disk over here and there is predefined disk name like HDD1 okay this is a 3.6 terabyte okay after the the single hard drive is inserted into the GV NAS there are 10 users has been created in this system and there are many quota already reserved for these users. You can try to simply use the, the information here to define your NAS storage. You might want to check the shared folders. The shared folders name will be the IP camera. Okay, so that means the camera 02 they have a rewrite process over here and you can over 
right over IP camera over here. Okay, we will use this information later. So please make sure your NAS storage has been created and the privilege has been defined properly. You will need a NAS storage folder name. You will need the username with the rewrite privilege. So there are two information are required before you assign a NAS storage for your IP camera. Okay, let's start the edge recording setting here. After you click NAS setup, you will find the IP camera which support NAS storage recording and you can assign it like we can just click enable the EBO1100 for this example in this case. Click start. You will check in the IP camera status. Okay, so you can check right now there is no uh, storage pass assigned for this IP camera. And you pl please enable this IP camera and find the neighbor host if their your NAS has been attached to the network. Okay, let's check the NAS storage right now. From the left panel, you will see the NAS storage folder, the sharing on the network. Okay, right now we will ch we will check the NAS two zero one six. This will be the NAS storage folder which we defined in previous setting. Okay, let's check the NAS server and for the ID and password which we have we have to connect. This is the NAS the server connection information. Okay, after query with the proper ID and password, you will get share folder over here. Okay, you can assign any folder to your right panel for the uh, specific IP camera. Let's use the IP camera here. That will be the default camera folder in GV NAS system. Highlight the IP camera and click this icon and the storage pass has been assigned to a uh, GVIP camera. And you have to provide the username and ID password for this IP camera folder. Okay. Like before we define the camera 02 will be the the this storage folder for the EBO1100. Okay. Click save. You will write data into the EBL IP camera. Okay. Right now you will see the update status is okay right now, and the free space and total space will display in this column. It will show you how much free space available for this folder, and the total space available for this folder. That's all the information about the NAS folder. Okay, let's uh, exit this window, and we can check the EBO1100. After storage assigned to GVIP camera, you can now start monitoring and playback the video in the Edge Recording Manager. Let's check the result here. Click Monitor. You will see the label, the red. The red means start monitoring. And the green one means monitoring but not start recording. Right now we can check the result in remote playback function. Right click the camera, you can check, just check the remote playback features right now. It will list the day and time in the NAS storage 
then you can click any event for the playback. After introduction about the NAS folder setting, now we will show you how to make remote viewing in ERM for your VNS system. GV Edge Recording Manager supports remote live viewing for VNS system. We will show you how to connect VNS with ERM. In the VNS setting, you have to predefine the correct IDM password in connection with the Edge Recording Manager. So please find the IDM password here. Click the icon about your account and you can change the password set up over here on the local account. So this is the IDM password you have to define here in order to make the connection with the Azure Recording Manager. We have to use Control Center service you have to enable the service in VNS system first. Control Center server service have to be turned on. Okay, then we check the ERM system. You have to add host. Okay, then add the VNS system. Type the address about the VNS system and user ID and password. Click update information to check the connection is available. Okay. And right now, drop down list they will show you all the camera list from the VNS. You can simply drag and drop the camera name into the live view window. Then you will get live view about the VNS system. The live view here has more options in the toolbar here. There are many different layouts over here. You can choose the different layout and drag the camera list over here. It will automatically fit into each column for the each camera. Okay, so since there are different layout options here, and you can also define you want the layout by different selection over here. For example, you can use A by 4, so maximum will be 32 channel. You will, this will be the fabric layout over here. So this, this layout will be the 8 by 4 channel over here. Then you can customize the, the layout on the channel division over here. Okay, let's back to the 9 channel view. Okay, so you can see the night channel over here a little bit different. The image ratio can be adjustment. You can use keep the image ratio or fit the camera column over here. So the camera camera image can be a little bit a little bit different to keep original ratio. Let's also support a snapshot. Okay, when you click that, and you will get location in this place. Add your recording snapshot. This is a default path over here. Okay. After you find the default path over here, and you will get image over here. Since this is a snapshot for each single camera, so there are total nine different camera over here. So it will be separate by different camera view. This is the VNS Live View in Azure Recording Manager. This is the end of live demo session. For latest software download and the product information, you can check our website, www.geovision.com.tw. For any question you may have, you can email to support at geovision.com.tw. Thank you.